We now turn our attention to Canada. Worrying some numbers on Canada on Thursday, one of the world's largest economies may be dealing with something far worse than just sluggish growth. Toronto correspondent Christian Yeo reports. It's the heart rate monitor of Canada's economy, the Toronto Stock Exchange. With a market capitalization of more than a trillion dollars and more than 1,500 listings, the TSX is North America's third largest stock exchange. This week has seen a flurry of activity, but recent announcements have some concern about more than short-term market reactions. GDP grew by just 0.3% in November, confirming what many had already feared, that the country is facing another slowdown, possibly a double-dip recession. There were some negatives, of course, uh, in the housing sector. Con residential construction was down. We also see some resale activity down. It's a familiar and scary narrative. A healthy consumer market propped up by a booming credit industry. Much like in the US, Canadian homeowners have drawn as much equity from their homes as they can to pay for new ones or to fund rich lifestyles. The problem comes when property prices stop rising. They've all but ground to a halt here, and so is GDP. It is still stubbornly high as well at 7.1%. There is a growing concern, particularly among job seekers and those who are watching the labour market, when we're looking at how difficult it is for young people who are coming out of school. Today's GDP figures are an improvement on October's near stagnant performance. Most agree the economy could be doing better. And with growth pegged to a volatile energy market and stagnant property market, Canada's future fortunes could be mixed. Christian Yeo, CCTV, Toronto.